everybody, it's Emily with the Terrebonne Parish Library. I hope you all had a wonderful new year and now I am back to tell you a little bit about this week in history. So on January 4th in 1847, Samuel Colt sold his first revolver to the United States government. Colt patented his percussion repeating revolver in 1836, which was a mechanism that combined a single rifled barrel with a revolving chamber that held five to six shots. And so when the weapon was cocked for firing, the chamber revolved automatically to bring the next shot into line with the barrel. Before this design, handguns were thought to be impractical, expensive, and inaccurate, so most Americans did not have one. However, we now know the success that Samuel Colt has had with his handgun. Gun. Then on January 5th in 1955, Leo Fender sells Fender guitars for $13 million to CBS. So Leo Fender debuted the world's first electric bass and bass amp in 1951, which left a huge lasting impact on bands across the world. However, in 64, when Leo offered to sell his company to his partner, it was for only $1.5 million. But because his partner, Donald Randall, lacked that fund to make that purchase, he reached out to the third-party buyer of CBS, which netted them much more than $1.5 million. In January 6, 1838, Samuel Morse and Alfred Vail demonstrate their telegraph machine in New Jersey. And then by 1866, the first successful permanent line across the Atlantic Ocean was constructed. And by the end of the century, telegraph systems were in place in Africa, Asia, and Australia, which forever revolutionized communication. On January 7th, 1890, African-American inventor William Purvis receives U.S. patent for the fountain pen. So suction and pressure within the elastic tube connected to the ink reservoir and tip regulated the flow of ink within the pen, which was determined by the speed and force of the user's writing. So extra ink was returned to the reservoir, preventing ink blots as well as preventing faded writing. Then on January 8, 1790, first U.S. President George Washington delivered his first State of the Union address. This address noted defense, foreign policy, economics, education, and immigration-related topics to the gathered representatives and senators in Federal Hall, New York City. So what is the State of the Union address? Well, it is something that actually fulfills the requirement in Article 2, Section 3, Clause 1 of the U.S. Constitution for the President to periodically give to the Congress information of the State of the Union and recommend to their consideration such measures as he shall judge necessary and expedient. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you learned something.